Welcome to Devotional Time from jtdiet.com. We continue now series looking at God is, that is the attributes of God. And today we're going to see that God is a God of mercy. God is merciful. Our key verse today is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 31. It says, For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not abandon you or destroy you or forget the solemn covenant he has made with your ancestors. Mercy is perhaps one of the most defining qualities of God, because without it, none of us would be here, never mind able to enter heaven. The Bible is full of phrases like to be merciful, to have mercy on, or to show mercy towards. Mercy is an integral part of our understanding of God's dealing with us. Mercy defined not only as an act of forgiveness and compassion, but it is not giving us what we deserve, whereas grace is God giving us something that we don't deserve. Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 7 says, God is so rich in mercy, and he loves us so much that even though we were dead because of our sins, he gave us life when he raised Christ from the dead. It is only by God's grace that you have been saved. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. So God points to us in all future ages an example of his incredible wealth of his grace and his kindness towards us as shown in all that he has done for us who are united with Christ Jesus. Mercy is not merely begrudgingly letting someone off for the wrong they've done you. But mercy is a purposeful act of reconciling two parties. Micah 7 and verse 18 teaches us concerning the vast mercy of God saying, Where is there another God like you? You will not stay angry with your people forever because you delight in showing your unfailing love. It actually pleases the Lord to show mercy to people like you and me because he is a God of mercy. Having been shown this great mercy, we ought to be merciful to others. Knowing that God has forgiven our sins, surely we can forgive those who have done something wrong against us. Furthermore, God's mercy for the believer isn't just a one-off single act. Psalm 23 gives us a great assurance that surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of my life. Whatever situation you're in today, you can rest in God's mercy. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you're a God of mercy, because without your mercy there is no way we'd be able to pray to you, to approach you, to experience a relationship with you. But Father, we just thank you for your unfailing love towards us. We thank you for the mercy which you show us each and every single day. Lord, help us today to trust in our mercy and to be merciful to others, showing the grace which you have shown us. In Jesus' name, amen.